Guys here with a peek at the forecast, and Ted, you've been outside in weather conditions today. It is very cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cold out there. You want to keep those dog walks a little shorter a day like today, uh, especially if your your puppy dogs are, are not fond of the really cold stuff or or maybe as well prepared for it. But uh, yeah, we have a cold day ahead of us. Uh, temperatures today will barely get above zero. Certainly at this point, we are well below zero. As we look at time lapse from yesterday, we had the snow early on, but this is from the afternoon. We had still a few uh, bursts of flurries and still some blowing snow. Is the the a bright Christmas tree though in the foreground from a CC Heights. This is looking outside with our Lewis Donato camera. Uh, time lapse from uh, Northwest Rochester. Right now, temperatures uh, uh, sub zero to start the day. We have at least a little sunlight looking to the south and east. This is from Lake Pepin along Lake City. This is live from our Lewis Donato camera there and here at the studio waiting for the sun uh, to really impact our northwest side of the city. Uh, right now, still a little starlight out there. Five below in Rochester. It's four below zero in Dodge Center. Zero in O. Stage five above in Mesa City, so a couple spots doing better than others uh, as far as temperatures go. But we're all very cold though. Five below in here, Rochester, 24 below zero. That wind chill, west winds 13 miles per hour. Not the really strong stuff we had yesterday. Thankfully, we had those brutally strong gusts in that 30 to 40 mile per hour range that all afternoon long. All evening, uh, causing blowing and drifting snow this morning. It's just a nagging breeze, but not the really strong gusty stuff. Some improvement anyway. 24 below again. Rochester, the current feels like temperature. That's the feels like on your your, your flesh anyway in a morning like this. Uh, 11 below the way it feels right now in, in Albert Lee and a wind chill of 8 below in Osage. Snowfall total specifically a couple of inches give or take in most spots. Rochester here officially 1.9 inches at the airport here at the studio at 2 inches even. Uh, northward uh, by a few miles, uh, Douglas had 2.4 inches, Byron 2.7 and 2 inches in Winona. Some flurries still possible today, but nothing new to shovel at least. We'll have some clouds for a time, but increasing sun later on. Uh, today and tomorrow the coldest of the week. We see improvement with temperatures later on uh, in the work week, but Thursday and Friday both feature at least a chance of light snow. A couple of systems headed our way, watching one band of clouds coming in from the northwest ahead of high pressure. That will bring us at least a chance of some flurries for a few hours between about 7, maybe uh, 10 o'clock this morning. That band will then move on through and we'll have increasing sunshine. So maybe a couple of flurries uh, for the windshield wipers this morning. That's about it, though. Uh, some clouds for a time holding steady around five below for most of us. Windshield still in that 20 below range, though, uh, for that morning commute. We'll have a band of clouds and some sun and a few flurries. Then we see more and more of that sunshine uh, headed our way for the afternoon. But look at these brisk winds, though. It's not the really strong stuff, but yeah, definitely a noticeable breeze around 15 miles per hour. At next, that feels like temperature down to around 15 below. High temperature of only 3 later today. Sunset 432. Already up north, even colder than we are in Grand Forks. War Road, double digits below zero there. Uh, Bemidji, 9 below. It's 4 below in St. Cloud here. Rochester is still a handful of degrees below zero, but southward a little warmer. Look at that. Des Moines, 13. It's 10 in Davenport. Uh, weather Almanac, typical numbers this time of the year. 28 and 14, kind of a football score there with those numbers. Those are the averages, but we're way shy of that this morning uh, and will be that way for the midweek. High pressure comes in, plenty of sunshine later today. A little disturbance kind uh, of eclipses the area later tonight. That may yield uh, maybe a quarter, maybe half an inch of snow from Mesa City to the west in North Iowa and maybe uh, around Alden and also around uh, Blue Earth here on the Minnesota side of the border, but otherwise most of us will have just a few passing clouds. Then cold sunshine with a reinforcing shot of high pressure tomorrow. More energy from the west. An area of low pressure brings snow chances for Thursday, starting with the morning commute on Thursday. Inch or two of accumulation out of that, especially in the morning on Thursday. Totals uh, tonight, though, again, we're looking at the southwest part of the area. Quarter, maybe half inch of snow from uh, Albert Lee uh, and uh, Emmons down toward uh, Lake Mills, Iowa, uh, for the overnight hours. Then we'll see an improving temperatures later in the work week after tomorrow. We look for highs of around 3 in Rochester today, 9 in the Mason City, some flurries, then some sun with west winds 10 to 15 uh, miles per hour. 8 below tonight, partly cloudy. Seven day forecast looking at uh, some light snow an inch or two on Thursday and then by Friday evening, perhaps another few inches of snowfall out of that system. All right, we'll bundle up today. It's very cold today yeah, in the meantime.